Hi everybody! Thanks for joining me tonight. Sorry about the like multiple layers of clothes. I am freezing in our house. Um, hopefully everybody, anybody up north has weathered the winter storm. That's kind of funny to say it like that. But uh, anyway, thanks for everybody that's joining and anybody that might watch the replay. If you guys are new, um, which we've had a lot of newbies lately. My name is Kelly Karstens and I am yours, your tour guide to speak on this, um, on the Faithful Drops page because this is our group. So just want to thank you guys for coming and thanks to everybody who played along with my little post a little bit earlier with Curious George. I was just curious um, how you learned about Young Loving and why do I want to know that? So as you can see, if those of you guys who participated in that post or um, looked at it, almost every single person said, hey, Luann, that a friend shared with them or a family member shared with them or their daughter shared with them or a coworker shared with them. Um, so that is how most of you are here. And that is actually how I am here um, is by somebody sharing with me that cared about me. They had some products that they thought were pretty amazing and thought they could be amazing and make an impact in my life too. And so they decided to share those with me. So that is what we're going to talk about tonight is sharing. Okay. Cause those people cared enough about me to share with me. And many of you are here because I cared enough about you or somebody that you know, or somebody that you know, who knew somebody who knew somebody who knew you. And that's how you came to our group in young living and hopefully are loving your products because they're amazing. So what's not to love. But, um, anyway, that's why I was just curious. And as you can tell, um, the theme was that a friend introduced me and a friend introduced me and a family member introduced me and this person introduced me and somebody shared with me. And so that's what I want to focus on tonight is that sharing. So we're going to talk a little bit about my story. Some of you guys have heard this. Some of you probably can recite it, but my husband and I were on a path of natural living and had pretty much already switched over all of our products to non-toxic things and healthier alternatives. And a friend shared with me about essential oils that she was using. And this friend had been using them for over a year by the time that she shared with me. And she was a closet user, as she says. And she finally decided to share with other people. Once she had tried it and tested it and kind of believed in the products, she decided to share. So I went to about three classes before I finally decided to jump in and just use the products for myself. Um, I almost did not join Young Living because I was afraid of um, the pyramid scheme or network marketing stigma. Um, of course, that is long come and gone because Young Living is nothing like that. Um, Young Living is so different and so amazing, but um, I didn't know it at the time. And so that almost kept me from these amazing products. And it almost kept me from having the experience to share with you that brought you here tonight. But anyway, so after going to three classes, I finally decided to get a starter kit and I thought to myself, you know, I've spent $150, it was $150 at the time, I've spent that like on a pair of jeans, I've spent double that on a dress before, um, so, you know, I can probably use these things and we just started diffusing them, that was all we really did for months months. Then we started kind of using a couple things topical here and there, um, but really just, you know, didn't really dive that much in. Um, then my husband had an amazing experience with an oil where we were just like, that, that really happened. That, that, that happened. And so that really sparked our interest in like, oh my gosh, this stuff is awesome and amazing. And what else could we be using these products for that we haven't even, um, haven't even even learned about. Um, so that started my journey of learning. But I got to that point where I consider myself, I was using them at home, I was taking my oils with me during the day, and most of you guys know that I'm a nurse. At this point in time, I was working in the hospital and I had a lab jacket. And I got to the point where I was carrying stress away with me every day and I had it in my pocket. So I consider myself a pocket user at that point in time. And so I was carrying my stress away with me and I would just use it when I needed to. So one day at work, um, 
one of my coworkers was having a um, kind of stressful day. And um, she has had a stressful time in her life and I had this stress away in my pocket and it was just kind of like, I see my coworker having this thing go on and I have something in my pocket that is helping me and uh, why not? Why not? Why not? So I said, hey, do you want to try some? And this is my stress away bottle, the original stress away bottle that I shared with her. You guys look at this. It was well loved. Well, well loved because this thing was in my pocket and I very much loved this bottle. I have to save it just because it's so cool. Um, but anyway, so I was like, hey, do you want to try this? Because it helps me and maybe it'll help you. And it did. And so the next day I was walking by her office and I'm like, hey, you want to try, you want some more today? And that kind of turned into a thing. Um, and several of you guys were there for that and were on, are on tonight. But then it kind of turned into a joking. Um, the rest of the people in that office would be like, hey, can you bring her some stress away today? And then it was like, hey, I'll take some of that. I'll take some of that. I'll take some of that. I was sharing stress away. I had no intention of a Young Living business. I had no intention of sponsoring anybody. I had no intention of anything like that. But I had something that was helping me that I saw a need could help a friend. And I said, hey, do you want to try it? Okay, that is what led us here tonight. That's what led all of us here to this group. Um, it took me a long time to get to that point, but it just a situation presented itself that um, I could help somebody and I decided to help somebody. Um, and you know, she could have said no. And I'm so thankful that she didn't because, um, but she could have said no. And that would have been okay. Um, but she didn't and she was open to trying it. And so here we are. So that snowballed into some of my coworkers wanting to try an oil here and there. That snowballed into them wanting to learn more because they were trying these oils and having amazing experiences. And so I taught a class for them and I had a bunch of them decide to join at once. And then I was like, well, I got to figure this stuff out. And that really showed me that I had something special and that I should probably be telling people about it. Um, so I so awkwardly did so in the beginning and it's still somewhat awkward at times. But anyway, that is how my story started. So why are you guys here? Um, I know that there's plenty of you here in this group tonight who are loving your Young Living products just like I did. Maybe you are a closet user. Maybe you are a pocket user. Maybe you're a little bit farther than me. Maybe you have it on your desk at work. Or maybe you're wearing a diffuser bracelet. Or maybe, I don't know what, maybe whatever you're doing with your products, it's awesome. Because I love that you're using them and I love hearing the stories of how it is improving the lives of all the people in our group. But... Um, I just want to empower you guys that you guys, I didn't know everything when I shared with my coworker. All I knew was that I had this stress away in my pocket and I thought it might help her. And I said, Hey, do you want to try it? Okay. Every single one of you guys can do that, right? Remember everybody on that post, how did they get here? How did they see these amazing products? My friend shared with me, my daughter shared with me, my cousin shared with me, my sister-in-law invited me to a class. All of those things, you guys, you can be that daughter, you can be that sister-in-law, you can be that coworker, right? So I just wanna let you know, you don't have to know everything and you don't have to jump in and say, I wanna do the Young Living business. Like I wanna make a business out of this and I am ready to go. You don't have to. You don't have to. All I'm asking you guys tonight is to think about the products that you have and share them with the people around you that you love that might have a need from them. Okay, so I'm going to try and equip you with some skills and not be too long-winded, which is a feat for me, if those of you guys know me very well. Um, but I just have some things that I want to, to share you, tell you about. So why would you share? Again, somebody sh loved you enough cared about you enough to share this product with you and you in turn could do that to somebody else and that's all we're asking tonight that's what we're talking about so you know um a lot of people will say well i'm not a very good salesperson great i'm not asking you to sell something that you just to sell something not at all. I, in fact, I would never encourage that. Um, this is about something that you love and something that can help you and you're going to share it with somebody else. 
Okay, so it's coming from the heart and that is your way to share with them, right? And again, you don't have to know everything. That was kind of me. I was like, I don't know everything there is to know about oils. You don't have to. All you need to know is that Young Living It is an amazing company. These products are amazing and that, you know what, do you want to try them? That's all you have to know. So again, I said I was really hesitant um, of joining Young Living, the company to begin with. And um, again, I was hesitant to share with other people because of the pyramid scheme and the network marketing stigma that's out there. Um, so just to address the elephant in the room, um, first of all, many of you guys know me personally. Do you think I would get involved in something like that myself? Absolutely not. Um, but uh Pyramid schemes are actually illegal, and I had a preconceived notion about them because of the stuff that I grew up with, and just, oh, those are, those are bad, those are bad. Well, like I said, Young Living is not a pyramid scheme, and pyramid schemes are illegal. That is when you are selling something and people aren't actually getting a product, right? So Young Living is selling amazing essential oils, and people are buying them, and you are getting a product when you buy something. Not a pyramid scheme. All right, so the great thing about the way that Young Living is organized is that once you join as a wholesale member, you have everything you need to share with somebody, okay? There isn't, in some companies, you have to join and be like, I'm doing the business, I'm going to do this many parties a month, I am going to sell this much a month, I'm going to do all this stuff. You don't have to do that in Young Living. You have your membership number and you have every single thing that you need to share. And that is that you have products and you have, you know, probably stories to go along with it and you have a member number. So like I said, there's no obligation to do anything. You can just share with your mom. Actually, we've shared with my mom and my husband's mom are both members of Young Living. And I could have just shared with them and gone on my merry little way. I wouldn't have had to have this Facebook group and I wouldn't have had to have classes and I wouldn't have had to do any of this stuff. I love it and I'm so glad that that happened for me, but just know that you don't have to commit yourself to anything, okay? Besides sharing a product with somebody that you love. So it's awesome, you don't have to spend any more money than you already have, because if you are in this group, you are already a wholesale member with Young Living. So for those of you guys who are wanting to earn a little bit extra money, you can do so by sharing this amazing product. And that's not a bad thing, guys. I know at first, I was like, oh, I, I don't, I don't I'm not, but I'm not selling it. I'm not selling it. Um, everything that we buy is sold. Every single thing that we buy, somebody is making money on that. Somebody is earning an income on that. And would, would you like to continue to contribute to the CEO of Target? Or maybe your friend that is um, selling an amazing product or representing a company that has an amazing product. Um, you know, and maybe your friends want to do that with you because they can, you can lock arms with them and get on those personal relationships and you know those friends more than the clerk at Target does. You know what their struggles are. You know the dynamics of their family. You know the products or that might help them. Or guess what? You know somebody who might know what products help, might help them so you can help get in contact with them. So how do you earn money in Young Living? Um, we're not going to go over way too much of this, but basically you can earn bonuses when people join with um, a starter kit and you can earn a percentage off the PV amount that people buy. So, um, and you can do that once you sponsor somebody into Young Living, you can earn a percentage on what they buy forever right? So that can add up over time or the more people that you sponsor, the more people that you're supporting. I like to look at it as the more families that I'm touching. So my check is reflective of the amount of people that I am touching and educating on these amazing products and transferring them from using harmful products to using healthy products. That's what my check is a reflection of. So that's the short version of how you earn money. Um, I posted this and I'll post the link again. Anytime I talk about earning money with Young Living, it's a federal requirement that I post the Young Living Income Disclosure Statement. Um, if somebody is watching and wants to post a link to that, that'd be great. Otherwise, I can do it later. The reason for this is so you can see actual stats and numbers of what people have actually earned in Young Living. And I'm not, fa not that I would fabricate, but that I'm not fabricating any of those statistics, okay? So... 
many of you joined Young Living just to use the products. 92% of Young Living members just use the products and love their wholesale discount. All right. We need lots of those people. And it's amazing if that's where you're at. 8% of Young Living members have shared with somebody. So they're making some sort of income, whether it be small or large, by sharing the amazing Young Living products. Only 8%. So it just goes to show there's that many people out there that are loving their products. So how do you share, right? So first of all, be a product of the product. You need to be using your products and maybe you might have stress away in your pocket and your coworker needs some. Maybe, you know, they see you putting um, peppermint vitality into your water or a lemon vitality into your water and they ask you a question and you just share with them, um, you know, the Young Living products are about the Young Living lifestyle. So it's about being healthy and getting our bodies and the things that we're using to be healthier. So exhibit that Young Living lifestyle and really use the products um, to their advantage. And so people are going to see or notice. Don't be afraid of it, okay? Go to a restaurant and use your peppermint and your water or whatever it is. Um, you don't have to hide it, okay? It's becoming more and more normal for people to be using these products out in public and you just never know where that person might be interested or ask you a question. So listen for a need. This is another thing. A lot of people say, well, I don't wanna be pushy. And I'm not suggesting that you're pushy. Um, some of you guys are personal friends with me on Facebook and you can see that I don't post all that much about Young Living um, because it's not like the whole thing in my life. Um, but I just listen for a need, okay? My coworker had a need, she had a lot of stress going on and I had something that could help, so I offered. So you might say like, hey, um, gosh, do you wanna know what I've been doing in situations like that? and wait until that person says, well, sure. And then it's like they've invited you in. They've said, yeah, I'm interested. Or you could say, are you interested in some natural options? Or depending on your relationship with that person, you could just say, have you ever tried this? Are you interested in trying it? And you know what? They might say no, and that's okay. You guys, I was a skeptic for a really long time. Every single one of us in this group listening to this video were skeptics at one point in time. So. Your friend might not be ready, your family might not be ready, and that's okay, and you need to not have your feelings hurt because you were that person once too. And there's a really great analogy that one of um, Young Living people shared with, with me one time, and it was like, think about offering a stick of gum. If you're at church, or you're somewhere, and you have some gum, you're getting it out, and you, you know, it's just natural to share with the person next to you and say, hey, do you want a piece of gum? And they might say yes, they might say no. If they say no, more than likely, your feelings aren't gonna be hurt, right? You just offered it to them and they weren't interested, more gum for you, maybe some for your neighbor, okay? So it might not be their season yet and just remember that you were there, you were there once too. So you might share a sample with them, you might invite them to a class, maybe you decide to host a class, Young Living class, or maybe you're gonna invite them to a class in your area, or maybe you want to invite them to a class that I'm teaching. All of those things are great. You could just tell that person, hey, blah, 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 this is what we've been doing. Are you interested in coming to learn more? Um, some things not to do is just invite every single person on your friends list to an online party without talking to them, okay? Those personal contacts are amazing. Those people, your friends and family need to know that you care and that's why you are asking them to take a look at the products. So you might share one-on-one. -on -one. We have a member who loves to do that. So she, instead of teaching classes or inviting people to classes, she just takes her starter kit over, sits down next to them and is like, hey, okay, I'm gonna go through and tell you what I use this stuff for. And let's see if maybe there's some things that you might use it for too. And when I did my very first class, that's what I did. I didn't know any different. I sat down with my starter kit and I went through the oils and I said, this is what I use this for, and this is what I use this for, and this is what I use this for. And of course, at that point in time, I didn't know anything about being compliant, so I probably wasn't, and I can help you with that. Um, but you know, you can just sit down with your family or your friends or whoever it is and say, hey, let's just take some time and go over this. Is that, uh, would you be open to that? Um, you know, you can also post on social media. 
Um, I would caution this a little bit. I see a lot of people posting things from other companies like companies, um, multi-level marketing companies or direct selling companies on social media. And um, you know, that can be overdone a little bit. And so I would caution you to do that. Um, some recommendations I've seen are to maybe one out of every five to one out of every 10 posts that you post could have something to do with Young Living. Um, you know, people are following you and they're friends with you because they want to see your life. Now, Young Living is a huge part of my life, but so is my faith. And so is fitness, and so is eating healthy food, and so is my super cute, adorable dog, right? And my family, and I love Iowa State athletics. So those are the things that I share, in addition to Young Living thrown in there every once in a while, but I don't just post about Young Living all of the time. And I actually will go back through my Facebook and just kind of make sure like I'm on the path of where I want to be. Um, and sometimes people will just send me a message like, hey, what do you think about this? Or what do you think about this? Um, personal stories are so much better. Like instead of posting just a picture from Young Living proper of a product and saying, this is such a lifesaver, um, you know, you're, again, your friends are friends with you on Facebook because they want to know about your life. And maybe you're having a really crazy season and you can equate that crazy season. Maybe you're super big pile of laundry and like stress away to the rescue or who knows what it is. But those are things that other people are going to relate to. Nobody wants to buy a product that they don't see a need for. So you have to show them that they have a need for these. And how do you do that? By being relatable, by remembering a time before you had these products that you had a need for them and how the product filled that need. Okay. So like I said, who do you share with? Your close family and friends are great people to start with. They're people that already love you. They're people that already trust you. Um, some of those people might not be interested. And maybe it's just that they're not interested now, and that's okay, and maybe they never will be. And that's okay too, you know? Um, I was really surprised that my mom was interested, and I was really surprised when Ben's mom was interested. But I love that they love the products, and I love that they are making a blessing, um, making a positive impact in their life. Um, some people who want to share Young Living intentionally um, will say, well, I don't know anybody. And that's not true. You know tons of people. And I have a tool called a memory jogger that can help you kind of think of some of those people. If that's something that you want to do, just let me know. Um, but I would just say don't count anybody out. There's people that I would have not thought, oh, this person is going to love Young Living. I have to share with them. Um, there's people that I have and they aren't interested. And there's people that I would have not thought that, um, oh my gosh, they are going to see a need from this. But you and I know after we get these products, how amazing they are and how we don't want to go without them again. So everybody has a need for them. So don't count somebody out because you think that, oh, they're not going to be interested. I've had lots of people like that, that I think, oh, they're not going to be interested. And then a couple days later or a couple weeks later, I see that they joined Young Living and I'm so excited for them. But in a way, I'm a little disappointed because I would have loved to help them along that journey and welcome them into our awesome group here because, I mean, who wouldn't want to join this party? So, like I said, don't count anybody out. Don't make judgments for some other people. You just never know what kind of things that they might have a need for. So, how do you handle objections? And this is something that's hard. You guys, it's hard and I still have a hard time because you know what? I'm a Young Living Silver and people still tell me no. Can you believe that? They still tell me no. It's okay. You know what? I told my friend no three times before I decided to join. So my biggest advice to you if you get an objection from somebody is to give grace. And remember what it was like when that was you when you weren't interested and just continue to love on that person and maybe say, you know what, that's okay. Um, but if you ever do become interested or, um, you know, have a need, I hope you come to me cause I'd love to help you and I'd love to, um, you know, fill this need for you. So some words that you can use or some things that you can say, um, when those objections happen, um, is you can just say, I love the feel felt found when somebody says, well, I don't want to use Young Living because it's a network marketing scheme. You know what? I felt that way too at the beginning. 
I know how you feel. I felt that way too at the beginning or when I was learning about it. But what I found is that Young Living is actually an amazing company and those preconceived notions that I had about pyramid schemes were wrong. Or some people, somebody might say, well, I don't have a need for that. And you might say, you know what? I know how you feel. I felt that way too. But once I started to use the products, I found amazing ways to use them. How about the premium starter kit? When I joined, I didn't think I'd have any use for all of those oils. I thought maybe one or two I'd be able to use. But once I had them in my home and I learned about them, every single one of those oils from my starter kit is long gone. And some of them look like this, right? So um, those are some things you can say. Another thing is you can ask somebody, well, what would it look like if you got sleep every night? What would it look like if there was a possibility that this could help your child calm down? What would it look like if your child had some digestive support? What would it look like if... I don't even know what to say, but um, so just some things that you can say because those people hopefully know that you're out there to care for them. Um, never try and debate something. That's something that I have learned the hard way. If somebody really has a huge objection, you giving them all the facts and figures is not going to win them over. So just say, that's great. Still love you anyway. I don't know, but um, there's gonna be people that tell you no, and I'm gonna. I know Luann is watching tonight, and Luann came to one of my very first classes, and it took her about seven months to sign up. Right. So remember, it took me three classes. It took Luann seven months. I have people who are coming back to me three years in that are like, okay, now I'm ready. And that's okay. So you just have to remember that it might not be their time, and you just have to again. They don't want your stick of gum, that's okay. More gum for somebody else and hopefully they decide later that they really need some gum and they come to you. Um, so like I said, just remember all devoted Young Living users were skeptic at one point, even me. And my husband was a super big skeptic. I came home with my kit and he's like, you did what? And now Ben uses more products. Um, I like to say he uses more oils than I do, which is still probably true. Um, he probably doesn't use as many products as I do now that we have the makeup, but he does use a lot, so he has come a long way. Um, so don't focus on the negative. Don't focus on what can go wrong. Don't focus on what people might think of you. Think about the amazingness that you have from the Young Living products and think about how awesome it could be if your friend had that amazingness too, okay? So I just want you to be you. I'm not asking you to be somebody that you're not. I'm just asking you to not be afraid to share these products or something that's helped you with a friend or family member that you think it might be able to help them too. So how do you sign somebody up? Did you know that your member number is all that somebody needs to have when they sign up with Young Living to have you be their sponsor or their enroller and then you can help them on their journey? That's all you need is your member number. So everybody in this group has one of those. There is a link in the Young Living virtual office where you can get a link. You can just email to somebody if they are wanting that and they can just click that link and it puts your information in forum. So I encourage you to get to know what's in your virtual office. Lots of great, amazing resources in there. And I'm always here to help. The rest of our leaders in our group are always here to help. And that's the next thing is know who your support team is. There are many leaders in this group myself included, maybe your sponsor or enroller who would love to help you. So don't feel like you have to do it all on your own. If you have a friend or family member that's interested in getting a Young Living kit, becoming a Young Living member and getting that 24% off, just let us know and we will walk you walk you through the process. But just know that people are joining Young Living every single day. There are people that are going to the Young Living website and just joining and not even having a member number of somebody that enrolled them, or excuse me, somebody that shared with them. So don't be afraid because there's people that are still continuing to join Young Living and loving the amazingness. Um, so make sure that your friends and family know that they can join with you. I'm not saying call them every single day and text them every single day and be like, hey, did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Please don't do that. They're going to need some stress away to just deal with you if that's what you do. But I'm just saying, let your friends and family know that don't be a closet user. Don't be a pocket user. Don't be afraid to tell your friends and family that this is what you're doing and that you love it and you think they might love it too. And that um, if and when they get interested that you want to help them on the way. 
So what's next? If you're thinking you're ready to share or want to do a little bit more, um, have a couple things for you. So the very first one, this is a really great book. It's called Circle of Success. If you do not have this book already and you would like it, let me know and I will send one to you. It's a really easy read by Monique McLean, who is a Young Living Royal Crown Diamond. And she just talks about how she shared organically with her friends and family and what it turned into. So it's just a really great, um, like I said, easy read about how to be relatable, not be pushy, not be salesy. Just offer something to your friends and family that helped you. So that's great. If you want to host a class with your friends and family, we can do that in person. You do not have to t stand up in the front of the class and tell everything about everything that ever was Young Living. <laughs> you can just sit down with your starter kit and share with them how you use them, okay? I can help you with a script. One of us leaders can teach the class for you. We would be glad to. If you want to host a Facebook class, we can do that um, privately. We can. You can invite those friends and family to one of the classes I'm teaching. So it might be that you're talking to them and say, hey, I really love these products, blah, 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 blah. They might be able to help you. Um, you know, Kelly's doing an online class that you can just be a fly on the wall. Do you just want to listen to it? Okay, then you can invite them. Right? So don't go to your friends list and just invite everybody and their dog that you've ever known because that's probably not going to be fruitful and those people are not going to appreciate that. So if there's somebody you've been talking to, that's the time to invite them. And then I invite you guys, anybody that has any more questions, um, I'd love to do a private follow-up with you. I would do um, private coaching calls and help with any situation that you have. I like to talk. So... I love our members and so I'd like to talk to you. So reach out to me or your sponsor or your enroller or your family. Um, well, maybe your family. Um, and I'm sure they would love to help you on your journey. So just overall, I just wanna encourage you guys, don't be afraid to share. Maybe that stress away is burning a hole in your pocket too and maybe there's somebody in your life that it could bless. And you just never know what can happen from that. So don't be afraid to share with them and see what happens. That's all I have for you guys tonight. Hopefully I wasn't too long-winded. I can't see the time. If you have questions, continue to post it on here, and we'll be glad to help you out. And God bless. Everybody have a great night. Thanks. Bye.